Oh, Professor Clements with you as we again consider special relativity, chapter 28 in the OpenStax uh, College Physics book, and time dilation, the fact that moving clocks run slow. Moving clocks run slow. Um, so we have an astronaut moving in a spacecraft at 2.2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It's all hypothetical. We have no technology to make a spacecraft move that fast right now. Um, but I should say you know, the, the effects of special relativity have been verified in experiments with small particles. We can make them move near the speed of light. And the uh, effects predicted by special relativity are found to be present. So special relativity is confirmed by experiments. So this astronaut, that speed, uh, we have an observer on the Earth. We have an ob observer in the spacecraft. And they have relative points of view. So the observer on the Earth has a sundial mounted on the ground by the, uh, by the observer on the Earth. And it's maybe a, a very accurate sundial, so we can note 12 minutes elapsing. Just wanted to set this up that uh, the observer on the ground is looking at a clock at rest with respect to the observer. So this clock is on the Earth. So how much time, as the observer perhaps observes the uh, clock in the spacecraft with uh, some technology, <clears throat> how much time will the observer on the ground claim has advanced on the clock writing with the astronaut? Well, to do this calculation, again, we need the factor of gamma to uh, tell us how much the time will slow down. Um, and we're familiar with this gamma calculation. 1 minus the speed that I have for the spacecraft, 2.2 times 10 to the 8th, we'll be squaring that, divided by 3 times 10 to the 8th, we'll square that. So the speed of the spacecraft squared divided by the speed of light squared. Again, we can cancel off the 10 to the 8th, and we'll be doing 2.2 squared divided by 3 squared. And rounding off just a little bit, I have 1 minus 0 0.538. We have to subtract from 1. So underneath the square root, 0 0.462. We take that square root, we divide it into 1, and I get 1.471 for the uh, factor of gamma. The factor of gamma tells us how to calculate the reduced time on the moving spacecraft, on the moving clock. And the moving clock, how much time elapses there, well, we have 12 minutes elapsing on the ground. The moving clock runs slow. It has less elapsed time. We have to divide by the gamma. So moving clock. We take the time elapsed on our clock on the Earth at rest with respect to us on Earth. We divide by gamma, and we find that the amount of time elapsed on the moving clock is 8.16 minutes. Moving clocks run slow. Moving clocks run slow. Well, let's take a little change of viewpoint here. Let's talk about the astronaut. And the astronaut's watching uh, clock on the uh, spacecraft, mounted in the spacecraft, and 12 minutes elapse on that uh, clock in the spacecraft. How much time will the astronaut observer claim has elapsed on the sundial on the Earth? Well, the gamma number is again 1.471. From the point of view of the astronaut writing in the spacecraft, the Earth is moving back this way at uh, 2.2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Again, that's our speed number. Uh, so our gamma number is the same because our speed number is the same. 2.2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The astronaut views the clock with the astronaut and the whole cabin of the spacecraft at rest with respect to the astronaut, and that is the case. The astronaut looks out the window and sees the Earth moving at 2.2 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Again, we have 1.471 for the gamma from this velocity. And again, the 
moving clock runs slow. The astronaut is looking at the clock on the Earth. That clock runs slow compared to the clock in the spacecraft. So on the Earth is the moving clock now. Moving clocks run slow by the factor of gamma. So we get 12 minutes divided by 1.471, our gamma value. And again, we get 8.16 minutes. And just playing with your mind just a little bit here, um, observe on the Earth, 12 minutes elapsed for the clock right by the observer, 8.16 minutes elapsed on the spacecraft clock. Astronaut looks at the clock in the spacecraft, sees 12 minutes elapsed, the clock on the Earth advances by 8.16 minutes. And the amazing thing is both people are correct from their point of view. Relativity calculations are from a certain point of view. Both of these observers are doing the correct calculation. The person on the Earth sees the astronaut's clock run slow. The astronaut sees the clock on the Earth run slow. So just let that uh, percolate in your mind a little bit. Um, but moving clocks do run slow. If you see a clock moving, it's going to run slower than your clock. And the factor of gamma tells us how much slower the factor we should divide by. So.